So, Ron Wyatt. I've read about him. I've watched his videos. I think I've even dreamed about him. When I've seen his discoveries, and quite frankly, you would at first glance say uh, this is no way. This cannot happen. There's no one person that could find this many artifacts, Bible artifacts, important, serious artifacts. So right away you you could <clears throat> you could just put this down to um, to nonsense or rubbish. But let me tell you, when I watched the videos, and I've seen many, he has a YouTube channel, you can go on there and check it out. Ron Wyatt, he also has ronwyatt.com, you can check that out. His videos, when you see the man himself, when you hear him speak, his passion, his knowledge, when you hear people speak about him, his sons, you know, yeah, people who knew him, you know that this was a godly man. A man who I would say is truthful. And so I believe this man, I believe his testimony. I believe what he says, despite the impossibility of what he has found. I believe him to be true because I believe his character is true. So imagine my surprise when many years later I find myself in Jerusalem. I find myself in the garden tomb and what comes to my head? Ron Wyatt comes to my head. Well of course Jesus came to my head first. <laughs> That's the reason I was there. That's the only reason why people like me go to Jerusalem. But as I was sat there and I was contemplating, I was thinking, oh, I remember watching the video where he found the Ark of the Covenant. Where could this Ark be? And so I thought I would try to find the Ark of the Covenant. Not the Ark of the Covenant itself, but just the place where Rome was excavating. And just to see if it was still there, see if I could find any trace whatsoever in 2022 of where Ron Wyatt was uh, and the work he was doing. So enjoy the video. This is the video of the search for the Ark of the Covenant. Searching for Ron Wyatt's dick in the garden too. Enjoy. <laughs> Right, so now let's go on a mission. We're here in the garden tomb. What, have, what do we know? What have we seen? What have we read? Well, we remember the story of Ron Wyatt. We remember that he said that he found the Ark of the Covenant. Did he really find it? Was it really true? Well, I tell you something. When I've looked at the character of this guy, and because I've, I've seen many of his videos, especially with the young guy, I've seen the testimonies of his children speaking about him. I've seen all these wonderful things. And let me tell you that he, um, his character is amazing and kind. And um, I think that he is telling the truth. Um, I can't prove that for a fact, obviously. Um, but I believe his character is truthful. I believe he is a kind, honest man, uh, sincere in what he believes. And so let's 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 find it. He, so he said. Um, so he was ex excavating here, and under the rocks found a um, a hole that went underneath. So let's try and find this place where he was excavating, if possible. I mean, not that we're going to go in. We, we won't be able to go in. But let's just uh, even see where it might be. So for the research that we've done, we found that. Um, they say, go to the garden tomb. So the garden tomb is where we're going to go. Oh, look, I think that's Ivory Coast. I believe this is the colors of the Ivory Coast. We're getting distracted from our mission, but I just wanted to check. Okay, so anyway, 
They say go to the garden tomb, so we're gonna go. Nice. <laughs> Oh, there we go so where are the garden tombs so what it what it says when i've researched this they said go to the garden tomb and there's some railings or a walkway on your right hand side and look at this here's the garden tomb we're back again do we see any railings on the right hand side yes we do however we see one part blocked off and one part going up and then we see all these boards here why are these boards here? There's some um, building or is it excavation work? But apparently, Ron Wyatt went along here. You go further down, there's a platform that goes up. Now, I'm not sure if they meant this platform or there's a platform walking up from there. But whatever it is, it's against the wall. So if we were, <laughs> let's go wherever we can go. So it looks like we've got lots of people from the Ivory Coast. Yes. Yes, I was right. God bless the Ivory Coast. Yes, man. Amen. Hi. How are you? Okay. Ivory Coast. We love Ivory Coast. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good footballers. Thank you. <laughs> and there we are, the garden tomb. We're not going to go in again. Oh. So the walkway is here. So what they said is that you go to the walkway. And I guess it probably was this way. Let's have a sneak peek. Can we have a sneak peek in there? The camera can get in where I can't. Can we see any excavational work there? Let's zoom in a bit. Is there any digging going on in there? It was a while ago. But either way, they said a raised platform. Um, so it looks like it was a platform here. Or could it be this platform and these steps? So let's go up here and have a look. We need to be near the wall. I want it be nice to have a look behind these things. The camera again can get through where I can't. Can you see anything in there? Any excavational work going on in there? Maybe not. Maybe so. We don't know. It's hard. Ron Wyatt, where were you? What were you doing? Nobody responded to me on the post of where the spot was, but I did find a post. But I tell you what, let's have a look. Beautiful. So, what is in there? Can we see through this crack? Can you see anything in there? Uh, because if he's finding it is correct, this is a monumental thing. If his finding is, uh, is to be believed, which I think is to be believed, then this transforms everything that we know. Like, like these things are coming to be found and maybe it's a sign that we're in the last days, in the time when uh, Christ will return. And maybe so, maybe that's right. And um, it's just amazing to think uh, these things are really in existence and uh, just going to be a bit peaceful and respectful for people because they're taking communion here and you can do all that kind of stuff here. i think we can get up let's have a look up this stairs and then maybe we can go down to the left and have a look okay. so i just have a look around I don't think we're going to get anywhere near this race platform where Ron White was. Um, but that's okay. We're just here to have a look. What we were thinking. Oh, what's this? Wow, the Gospel of John's. You see that? The basket full of the Gospel of John's, the garden tomb. And that's amazing. I'm going to keep that. Amazingly, all these things are free, and I thank you, Israel, that you did that. You made these things free for people. So it's free for the poor. Christ is for the rich and for the poor. It is for everyone. And, um, yeah, and so it should be. So I've got a feeling that it must be beyond here. And I, if, 
I think there's a platform over there, so it will have been somewhere, I think, over this, over this place, and where it will have been down. Or is it further on? In fact, it might even be further on because I watched a video and it, I'm sure it was not far from Gobi. Let's, gonna, let's continue and we'll just walk along this wall and we're going to find it. Come on, Ram Wyatt. Ram Wyatt is now in heaven with his Lord and Saviour Jesus, in sweet, enjoying that sweet communion. He's no longer living by faith, but living by sight, um, which is amazing. Um, but, you know, God gave him a work to do. And um, what an amazing uh, life he led when you read about these things, when you look into the things. So we're sticking to the wall, so let's have a look. There's a little communion going on there. We're not going to get involved in that. Uh, although this is a beautiful place to have communion. Right, maybe it was here. Okay, I tell you. I'm just listening. Like, this is an amazing place. And the tall guy told us that before they even start the day, they said they have an amazing team and that they worship together. Like, that's amazing, right? They worship together and that's how it should be. So here we are now, we're back at this wall. Was it over here? But I don't see a raised platform other than the platform up there. But anyway, where could the Rome Wyatt been digging? Here, and another thing that makes me believe it as well is the fact that how could it, there's photos of him digging, right? There's pictures, there's videos, but how is it even possible to do that in this place? Like you wouldn't be allowed, like I couldn't just come here now and start digging away here. I mean, somebody would stop me, right? So well, uh, so he must have had the uh, authority to do that. Which backs up everything, and, and are the Israeli government or the uh, the the, um, the board of antiquities uh, hiding these things until later times? I mean, who knows? It's all speculation. I don't know for a fact. I don't know anything for a fact. What I do know for a fact is Christ is risen, and he'll return. So these things, in a sense, they're not as important, but they are important because they're God's things. That but they're not salvation important. Like, my salvation doesn't depend upon uh, what I believe about these things. Could it have been over there? Through the gate there that he was excavating at? I maybe should have watched the video a bit more. And there's, here's an old video, uh, an old picture. We'll get a photo there. You can see how it looks quite some time ago. Uh, Amazing, right? Amazing that we're here in this place. Now, I don't know, like, if this is uh, the place of the skulls here now, could it be here? And is this the race platform that they were talking about? And that down there is, uh, is the place. Uh, here's Patrick again. So, Patrick, I was just taking my viewers around. and We were going on a special tour trying to find uh, Ron Wyatt's uh, archaeological dig. So we've been along the whole entire walls. There are a couple of places we think it could be. But like I suspected, we, uh, we're not going to be able to access the boundaries. But as you can see over this part here, there looks like there's some kind of excavational work going on just down there. And this would be a raised platform that they were talking about. Um, and it would be in step with everything that I've seen in the videos. So, um, so amazing. What did you, did you have a look yourself? And any conclusions? I'm just touched so much with this place. I would love to use adjectives like incredible, amazing, stunning, outstanding, but these words are pale comparing how the reality to grasp how this place is really looks like. You can tell, I can tell you, you can feel the presence of the Lord here. This is the holy ground. This is his beloved city. This is the daughter of Zion. And I'm, I'm telling you, I am just 
feel, I want to like, cry. I want the Lord to return. I want to see Him face to face. This place is so beautiful. This, there's so many flowers. It really looks like a Garden of Eden. You feel here like you walk with the Lord in the garden. And, and people are singing and praises the, um, the praises of the Lord. You can hear people worshiping, reading the Bible, uh, praying. Communion. And, and you can hear people praising the Lord in many different languages. I just heard two ladies uh, praising the Lord in French. And like it was so beautiful, such a homie to my ears. And I am just... You no are words. like honey to my lips. Jesus, I love you. Yes, Jesus, Jesus, holy and anointed one, Jesus. Your name is like holy on my lips. Your your spirit like. To my soul, your word is a lamp unto my feet. Jesus, I love you. I love you. Amen. Thank you, brother, for that wonderful singing there. So, like I said, yeah, it's amazing. This is like unbelievable place to be. You've got to come here. You've got to. I got to plead with you now. Come to the garden tomb. Come here. Come spend some time here. If you are a believer in Christ come and feel you'll feel it you'll know what i'm talking about I, you cannot feel it there watching um but you can feel it here anyway we know our faith's not built on feelings i was i'm not going down that road but there is something special about this place and uh he's bringing back all the scriptures to memory it brings it alive basically i mean come on how can that not bring it alive I want to thank the staff here. The staff have been amazing, like unbelievable. You, you, you can't even imagine how kind they've been to us. Um, we've got, we've had nothing, experienced nothing but love here. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank you all. So Garden to me is, make sure you come here. So in conclusion, I believe it is here at Golgotha, at the place of the school. I believe Ron Wyatt's dig is just here, to the left. As you can see there at the bottom, at the foot of the hill, is a... Well, it's interesting because it's it's blocked off and it looks like somebody's been doing some excavation work there. And um, taking into consideration all the evidence, I believe this is the place. Unfortunately, I was not able to get access to go inside. Um, but let me know in the comments if you believe this is the place where Ron Wyatt dug and found the Ark of the Covenant. I'd be interested to know your thoughts. But this is my pick. Right here at the cross underneath. That's my choice. <laughs>